Gaynell, do you know who my viewers are? Homely gals with thighs the size of tree stumps in formal wear. That means a clean tank top. Mark your calendar for November 16th and 17th and be prepared to laugh until your sides hurt at the antics of the Burdine family as three cousins attempt to throw a family reunion even though their Aunt Lamerl doesn't approve. Well, what I'd like to know is why Gaynell decided to host this reunion out here in this heat. And what I'd like to know is why Gaynell decided to host this reunion out here in this heat. Why they called hemorrhoids and not Astro. <laughs> <laughs> Lamerle has spent years trying to uphold the family honor, but as Gaynell and her cousins manage to pull off a fun reunion despite all the mishaps they encounter along the way, she feels her control is slipping. Oh, Dad, put that cookie down, mister. You got the diabetes. Every cookie you eat is another toe gone. And seeing the cousins stand up for each other is not warming Lamerle's heart that you have never once in your entire life worn a dress and you took two days to start trying? It's in your bulbs, isn't it? Did you mug the hooker you got that off of? And while the cousins work hard to make sure their cousin throws the best reunion ever, they have problems of their own. So it's time to put out your dog after Bert gets on his back! Hey, see, I've noticed. Bert needs someone to get to enjoy the finer things in life with, like watching Nat's car and goat roping. Not crocheting coasters in front of fire with you. Bird Pierce all is mine. Harry is the end. That rips it. Things spin hilariously out of control when a neighbor's pet devours everything edible, a one-eyed suitor shows up to declare his love, and a Texas storm shows up uninvited to the reunion. A twister touched down on the edge of town. He's coming right for us. But even a twister can't stop the romance. You wanna see my eyeball? Ooh, yeah. Or the fun going on around Sweet Gum, Texas. Come on, for the last time, get you a glass of dip lipstick all over the bottle. You definitely don't want to miss finding out whose red velvet cake wins the high stakes wager between Lamerl and her niece, Gaynell. Let's get this thing over with right now, Gaynell, and then you can just deed your house over to me. Make the right decision, Uncle Aubrey, because if you ever want to have a taste of my cream ranch chicken ever again, You'll make the right decision. You're trying to unduly influence the judge? It won't matter what I say to him because as soon as he tastes, takes a taste of your cake, he'll figure out that it's inedible and unfit for human consumption. And then my cake will be the obvious winner. Performances will be November 16th and 17th. The doors open at 5 and the show starts at 5.30. Tickets are $8 for adults and $5 for students, but bring a little extra. There will be tons of velvet treats to buy.